Welcome back. After a 24-15 loss to the Atlanta Falcons, the Saints now find themselves on the outside of the playoff picture. We bring in John Collar, our Saints analyst, to talk it over. Hi, John. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Can't complain. So where do you feel the Saints' problems stem from? Um, honestly, bro, I feel like the Saints got a lot of problems. And, and it all starts at the top, you know, head coach. And I feel like they, the coaches are not doing a good job of, you know, preparing them for the teams that they're supposed to face. Um, a lot of their issues also stem from the offensive side of the ball. When you got Pete Carmichael, you know, being a conservative, I feel like they run the package with Taysom Hill a little too much because it's kind of predictable in, in a sense, bro, because a lot of times people know when he come in the game, all he's about to do is run the ball. So I feel like it's kind of predictable. We need to find ways to be better um, on offense, um, particularly converting in the red zone. We had many opportunities last game against the Falcons to, you know, convert in the red zone, and we came up short not being able to score a touchdown, all our points coming from the kicker. And, you know, unfortunately, I got to put some of the blame on Derek Carr, too. I mean, it's times that we see him, and he looks like a Pro Bowl, all-pro type quarterback, you know, with elite, elite skills. But then it's sometimes when he's just out there, bro, and he just look like he don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like on that, um, I just keep, uh, ever since Sunday, I just keep watching replays of that pick six that he threw in the red zone, especially because they got the sky cam now. So, and the throw was just bad. Even if the safety wasn't there, it, the throw was still going to be bad because it was so far behind the receiver. So, we paid this dude 150 million dollars to come in and be the next. Um, elite quarterback after Drew Brees, and we have yet to see that from him. So I think that he needs to step his game up more and, you know, give us the level of productivity we need for giving him a, such a big contract like that. And it's kind of issues reared their ugly head in that game with the red zone pick six yeah. and a fumble later in the game, right. even though it was recovered by the offense. You kind of tell me what, what has been your review of Derek Carr? So far, um, like I like I just said, he's re he's been real up and down. I I do have faith in him because I know the type of quarterback he can be. I know you know he's a veteran. He hasn't throughout his time in, in the league, he hasn't shown that he can compete with the Pat Mahomes and uh, Joe Burrows and uh, Josh Allen and Dak Prescott and Jalen Hurts of the world. But he can be a a, a good quarterback that can lead us to a playoff push. And, you know, with the division being weak as it is, we got to get better play out of him because, you know, on paper, he's really the best quarterback in our division. And for us not to get the level of productivity that we thought we were going to get from him, he just has to be better in all areas, yeah. And even in that game, he kind of – he basically injured Chris Olave yeah, in that yeah, game, yeah, throwing that, that awful yeah. pass. Right, right. Got him a concussion. Yeah, so – he just has to be better with his ball placement, bro. He has to be better with his decision making. I mean, that's two of the most crucial things when it comes to playing quarterback. And we just haven't seen that from him. In, what, what are we, 12 games, 11 games into the season? So, yeah, we, we need, need him to step it up. And for the Saints, they've lost every single game that's mattered to them. They've lost to the Packers, they've yeah. lost to the Vikings. We're both ahead of them in the wild card race. Yeah. And now to the Falcons. It's just why do you think they can't 